Hey y'all, welcome back to the Smoky Patio. I'm Paul. Today we're going to be smoking some bacon wrapped meatloaf. It's going to be really good. We've got a lot of fresh ingredients we're going to put in it. Um, take a look down here. We're going to do three pounds of ground meat. We're going to wrap it in bacon. We've got two cups of breadcrumbs, one cup of chopped onion. We've got three quarter cup of diced tomato, one egg, and a little all purpose seasoning. Uh, this seasoning is just a little bit of a mixture of uh, about a quarter teaspoon of each. It's a, a paprika, chili powder, garlic powder, uh, pepper, onion powder, and cayenne pepper. Uh, so it's going to be just, just a little bit of seasoning there. So I'll bring you back here in a little bit as we start incorporating all these ingredients. <music> that meat up. Really make sure that you get all that seasoning, all the tomatoes, all the onions, and every little bit of that meat. So you really want to make sure you mix it up really well. Got some gloves on today. We're going to make sure we really dive into this and uh, mix it up real good. split this in half. This is about three pounds of burger. We're going to split it in half and roll each one up and then we're going to lay out some bacon. I'll bring you back when I do that. We'll uh, lay out some bacon and wrap each one of these up in the bacon. Let them sit there for a second. I'll go fire up that smoker. Um, we're going to smoke it about 325 today. That's the uh, uh, ultimate temperature I want to cook it at. So 325 is what we're going to cook it at today. A little bit of hickory wood. Um, I'll bring you back once we wrap these in bacon. Alright y'all, we're going to go ahead and wrap this uh, meatloaf now. I laid out some plastic wrap on top of the cutting board, laid out the bacon on it. Now we're going to set the uh, meatloaf on there and then we use the plastic wrap to wrap it around the bacon and that kind of hold it in shape until we get it on the smoker. So. There you go, you got the bacon wrapped around your meatloaf. It's being held together by the plastic wrap. I'm going to go check on the coals. They should be about ready to dump into the smoker. And maybe about 15 minutes, it'll be ready to uh, throw this thing on there. So we're going to smoke it today with some hickory wood. I put a little bit of a layer of coals in there. We're just going to dump these right on top of them. And I'm going to put a few more coals on top of that. That, uh, it's not going to be a long cook, but I want it nice and hot. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this thing together. Now I got the water pan in here, but I don't have any water in it. I think that kind of lowers the temperature a little bit, keeps it very even. I want a higher temperature today, so I'm really wanting to smoke these between 300, 325, closer to 325 is what I'm looking for. So. Uh, We'll let this thing come up temperature and we'll bring you back once we throw these meatloafs on. Alright, hey y'all, we're back. We're going to go ahead and throw these uh, meatloafs on here now. Smoker's up temperature, it's up to 325. So we're going to 
we're just going to take these and let them roll right out of the saran wrap on the cooker. those go probably 45 minutes we'll check the temperature bring you back then okay hey been right at an hour since we put this on so we'll go ahead and check the internal temperature now we're holding right at 325 I actually had to close the vents about down to about half I was trying to get up to about 350 really wouldn't hurt anything but I was trying to keep it right at 325 It is looking really good though. Even that base get bacon looks a little crispy. See where we're at. Okay. So we are at 120 degrees. 125. We're at 125. And it's been on for an hour, so probably going to take another 30 minutes before it gets up to temp. So uh, we're going to close it, let it keep on cooking. You know what they say, when you're looking, you ain't cooking. Be back. All right, here you all. We are one and a half hours into this. Looks like it's going to take about two hours to get this cooked done. So uh, I just probed it, and we're at 145. We've got about another... 20 degrees to go before it's ready, but uh, you see they are looking really good. in off the smoker they're done we got right up to 165 internal temperature so uh, man they look great it smells amazing in here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up so you can kind of see what we got going on here it's hot Very, very, very hot. This really smells good. Um, took uh, two hours to get this cooked done at 325. I think it would have, I, I was originally thinking maybe closer to an hour, but this is the first time I've tried this recipe, so um, smells amazing. And uh, I think it's going to taste good, but it took two hours to get it done. So um, maybe if I had the temperature up, maybe 350, we'd get done a little bit quicker, but. I really want to try to get as much smoke flavor as I could in there, so I'm going to go ahead and try not to burn myself as I eat a piece of this. That bacon actually got crispy too. Mmm, the bacon's good smoke. show you here see if you can see right there on top of there a little smoke ring around that meat Woo! that's hot 
Well, folks, that was good. I'm going to plate this up. We're going to do something simple tonight. We're going to have some macaroni shells and cheese with this meatloaf. <coughs> but uh, we're going to eat on this for a couple of days. That's a, that's a lot of meatloaf there. So, hey, if you like this stuff, give me a thumbs up. Check out my channel. Subscribe. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But uh, I appreciate you all watching. I thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. Uh, tell them all about the Smoky Patio. We'll see you next time.